Psalm 11, 5 through 7 says, The Lord tests the righteous and the wicked, and the one who loves violence his soul hates. Upon the wicked he will rain snares and fire and brimstone and burning wind will be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous, he is a lover of righteousness, and the upright will behold his face. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this six-month reading plan of the book of Psalms, today's reading is Psalm 11, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, in a sense, all mankind is in the same boat. We are all sinners. We all seek after ourselves, and if left to our own wiles, we would be self-centered and so self-centered that, that even those who are considered the most prideful and self-centered today would be looked upon as philanthropists, possibly. Without the possibility of a person having a relationship to Christ and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, our world uh, would be indescribably different. Well, verse 5 tells us that God will judge each of us, and while the result of that judgment differences in the general sense for the righteous and the wicked, each of us will be found to be wanting. The Christian who lives in his or her own life will be judged on their choices. Uh, while the result will not be the same as a loss of salvation, for example, the result will be a serious loss of the chance in this world of becoming more godlike through the power of the Holy Spirit and a reduction of joy and hope in that present life. But for those who have no relationship with Christ, the wicked, their judgment will be severe. Their judgment will be even a loss of the life itself because in their actions, they've lost their lives here on earth and in the world to come. Well, because God is righteous, we are to be righteous. And because God is holy, we were to be holy. And because God is loving, we are to be loving. And because God is a protector, we are to be a protector. And because God desires relationships, we are to desire relationships both with God and with others here on earth. But we're to take refuge in God. And this means that he is to be our protector and our provider and our guide. He protects us through the power of the Holy Spirit and is indwelling in us, Ephesians 1, 13 and 14. And because he protects us, we should not fear any situation that we are in. We should always be looking to God for his direction in how we are to act. Now, because he is our provider, we are to be satisfied with that which we have. And we are not to seek or concentrate on physical things. Now, please don't misunderstand me. Physical things are very nice. But as Christ reminds us, they will fade away, and our focus should be on that which cannot be taken from us. God willfully provides us with such things, and we must focus on those. Finally, God is our guide. We should not disregard that which is given to help us to become stronger to walk with him. We have the scriptures, we have prayer, we have fellowship with other believers, and we have the Holy Spirit living within us so that we can be, have the same mind of God in our lives. Now in this new year, we need to become more active and utilize all of the things that God has given us so that we might be the strongest witness for him in this fallen world. And if you would like a PDF copy of this entire reading plan, please send an email to PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.